Today we're going to teach you on how not to build a fire pit. Yes, how not to because I want to build a fire pit, but I have a lot of projects going on here in the next six months. And so I want one for the fall and the winter time, but I want to be able to remove it because I'm going to put a patio and all that. So we're making this temporary. And so <laughs> if you're going to watch this video, you're going to be like, okay, so this is a cheap way of doing it. That's not permanent. If that's what you're going for, then I'll come join me. Before you do, make sure you subscribe, you turn on notifications, and you give this video a thumbs up. Let's get started. So you want to build a fire pit. You don't want to spend too much money because you want to remove it, but you also want it to last. Maybe you got kids, you don't want it to fall down. So that's pretty much what we're doing in this video. Starting off with the building material. Lowe's themselves and Home Depot sell these kits, and they're like $300 to $700 on something that doesn't make any sense to me when you could just go to the store and buy the bricks individually for like $2.97, which is what we did. This is, uh, you can see what it looks like. They're 11 inches, they're kind of gray, a little red in it. And these are gonna set you back once again, maybe $3 at max. Uh, if you wanna get delivered to your house, you're gonna need 33 of these to do at least three levels. You're talking about 11 on each level. Really, you're gonna probably get away with, if you really wanna do it cheaper, uh, we'll say, Gosh, maybe 32, because one of them you'll probably want to crack in half or you're going to leave one out so you can get some airflow underneath. Besides that, that's going to cost you maybe, if you do it right, maybe $90, maybe a little less, a little more, depending on how many you get. Then you want to buy the metal ring. This is the ring here. We're looking at 43 inches, which is the largest low cells, and this is for about $105, maybe $115. For some reason, we got that on clearance for 100 so I'm in a hundred here, but a ninety dollars here. So we're just about two hundred dollars for this project. Now because it's not permanent, we don't need the adhesive. And because it's not permanent, you don't have to do all that crazy stonework. Though you will have to level your ground, and you should put some kind of stone on the bottom. And I have just so happen to have concrete little slabs laying around, like little things you can probably get for about three dollars a slab. So. Put that together, we'll say $210 to play it safe. My goal is to put the fire pit over there, but until I level this out, until I put the patio in here, until I burn these away, which the main reason why I bought this is to burn all my stubs away, because there's one here, there's little ones here and there, another one here, there. These are all gonna get burnt over the course of the summer, or the winter time. But for now, we're going to clear out this entire area, make it as flat as possible, and then uh, build it right there. So step one, prepping the area, getting all the leaves and all the dryness away. You don't want any of these sticks and leaves around here because it could catch the entire forest on fire. We're not trying to do that today. And this is where we're at so far. As you can see, I took off the first four or five inches and just kind of dumped it on the sides. But it is super uneven. Cameras can't really show that. If I look at it from this angle here, it's a bump in the middle, it's higher over there. This has to be level no matter what. So uh, let's level it out. I didn't say this would not be an easy project. So, Got to use some of your grease, rake this out, get a shovel, level it down as best as possible. If you don't have a level, get a level. And um, it could be any level. I mean, if you have a small one, you can put it on a two by four and level it out that way. But once again, this is temporary. A few months I'll come in here and kind of officially level it. I'll hire someone to level it actually. But um, it's a big spot. I went about, let's see, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven. Oh, exactly twelve. So it's twelve by twelve. So let's let's level it out. You can see it actually might be eight inches from here up. And as we went down, got to about one and a half because going that way is a little more level. And going this way with this stump, we took about five inches. Now, I want to say that it's perfect. You know but it's definitely level here in the middle. And once again, if you don't have a long level, I'm gonna go get a two by four. I'm gonna put my level, my small level on top and just make a circle in the middle just to see if we are at that level point. 
but there is one other step you have to do uh, besides cutting out all these roots, which I'll do in a second. And that is, you're supposed to tamp down the dirt. Either bring in sand, construction sand, or rocks, and just kind of stomp it down as low as it can get. Then you try leveling it out. Remember, we're going for cheap and temporary. So you could get <laughs> a tamper and do it, which would be another 50 bucks on top of this, or you need some heavy stone, just come plomp it up and down. Or in the case of this video, I'm just gonna walk on this for a little bit, just to get some pressure in the circle, because the outside of it, I don't really care too much. And then I'm gonna level out the circle, which 43 inches with the blocks, what is it, it's 60? So get my level, do 60 in here, level that out, clear this off and start building. Remember how I mentioned how I have like a little slab of concrete, a little slab? Remember how I mentioned I have a slab of concrete I'm gonna use for the middle? So I just took that out. I'm just picking up and throwing it down as my tamper. It's free, it's cheap, and it's there. So like I mentioned before, you don't have any kind of big level. Get a small one, two by four. You're gonna stick this on top and then put it down and kind of shift it out yourself to make sure it's level. The first part's the hardest. As you can tell, that side's higher than this side. So we have to get this level. And it's funny too, because I need to level this, but you're not level. So getting on my hands and knees, we know that this side over here needs to be a little more level. I'm gonna dig out a little bit. Oh, there's gonna be a branch in there. Let's see where we're at. We're stuck on something. Ah, fell in yet again, another root. So many roots back here. You'll find that out as you're doing this as well. That it feels like all you're doing is pulling out roots. Because it is a wooded area after all. My wife warned me about this. She goes, you're crazy. There's all that wood back there. So what? I know. Well, you gotta put it somewhere. Oh, they're all connected. One here too. Oh my goodness. And it's pulling up even more roots. Woo. The amount of roots I just pulled out by hand is insane. The one root went all the way down there. So I'll have to relevel this and of course, tamp it down again. Temporary. It's a lot of work for temporary, ain't it? Yeah, it's the middle of the night. Oh, not really. But uh, we finally got level. Gosh darn, man. It was, uh, it was the amount of roots in this thing. It was nuts. We got a couple crazy piles of roots here and over there. It's, it's not fun. But the, the reason why I'm doing it this late is because I'm very busy and um, cheap, fast, and inexpensive cheap and expensive same thing but still it's finally level so we can finally start laying down so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put this in the middle where I want it at least so that can give me an outline and we'll start putting the blocks around it's 11 on each row but the bottom row you're supposed to have a half of one to leave one like kind of open so you can get some airflow underneath of it it's supposed to help it not really smoke I'm no scientist I'm just going off what people said on the internet. So uh, let's get moving on this because um, mosquitoes are coming out. And at least it's a fall night. It's not really cold just yet. I know what you're saying. Joey, what happened? You changed your clothes and everything looks done. First of all, thanks for noticing. I did change my clothes. You're paying attention to detail. But um, <laughs> just like yesterday, we started at 6 p.m. because I'm super busy and I really don't have too much time for this project. It is 6 p.m. the next day. I uh, got quickly got changed, and um, that last night, knowing my time schedule, I was like, okay, if I don't finish this tonight, it's not going to get done, and it got too dark to film it, so let me show you. This is where we're at. We did 10 blocks in the bottom to leave sections for air on both sides, one over here, and a little bit over there. We built up the second level, and the top level, for some reason, wasn't fitting together, I had to get another brick and then chisel it down. Yes, I actually used chisel and I chiseled this down. I, I used a, what's over there? And we chiseled it down so that it would fit. 
and I bought another block because I can't fit the 11th one in there. It's just not going to fit. The reason why it took so long is because the roots. Don't do this in the woods, guys. There's so many roots I ripped out. I mean, you get a pile of it going that way, a bigger pile over here, more over here. To get level dirt with a hill like this has not been fun. But we finally achieved it a little bit because remember, temporary. Eventually, in a few months, it's gonna get ripped out and the entire backyard is gonna be this level. I'm hiring someone, I ain't doing that myself. But I needed to get this done and last night I was thinking, what else do I wanna add back here? So, bought some string lights and a couple other things so we can zigzag it across this, these trees here. I did buy the folding chairs. I got them on clearance at like Wayfair for like a hundred bucks each. So I got four of them coming back here. So today is Wednesday. I'm gonna do my best to finish this up. I have to chisel in one more piece. And then uh, that's that. So was this an easy project? Nope. Did I do it anyway because my wife wanted it and I really wanted it? Yeah. Now, when it comes to uh, winter, hopefully we'll get some snow. We can come back here and, um, and enjoy some fire. Anyway, I've got one more block to chisel. Let's knock it out. And just like that, we chiseled in a new piece. Essentially, we just made a line, grabbed this bad boy, stuck on the side, hammered down both sides, and then with one Swiss move, boom! Not Swiss, but swift move, it cut in half. And now it's back in place. It's a little wobbly right now, and that's fine because you still got to put the ring back in there. Once you put the ring back there, you get this mallet, you mount it all together, and it should be stable. Now we grab the ring. We can pick it up like a teepee. Yeah, that made no sense. Teepee. Now we grab this rim, and we're gonna put it into place. It should slide right in. If not, we'll move to use the mallet. But no, it slid right in because we left a little bit of space. Now we get the mallet. We push these all in and it should all stay and be very stable. You'll notice that this block came out because it's still too big. This is the smooth side, so you could tell we will cut down. Everything going to the left is going to get kicked out. So here's the block here. We're going to grab the chisel and take off this top layer going this way. Chiseling is really easy. You get to the spot you need, put on top, you hammer it down. Though I need to be using gloves to do this. I mean, that would be the smart thing to do, but hmm, my wife asked me, how do I know how to do all this stuff? Well, Italians are good with their hands. So I guess that's why. But then again, I don't really know. It's also the fact that my grandparents ran a hardware store in South Philadelphia. So that could help a little bit as well. You could see that. Try it in there and see if it's gonna fit. And uh, no, not yet. A little more in the front, right about here. Should do us fine. We've taken off big chunks so far. Just talking to you. I think you distracted me a little bit. So give me a second here. The other thing is that, keep in mind we're doing a lot of projects back here. If you wanna be in the loop with all the projects, do make sure you are subscribed. Uh, we've got about like seven videos already just in this backyard and the projects I've been doing in my house So I hope that you are following and maybe you're learning what you can and can't do You know, I didn't say that I'm an expert Like right now I probably should be wearing gloves and Even though it's fall these mosquitoes are killing me at the moment Put this back in and I would say that we're uh we are almost there. Almost. I'm going to tap it in a little bit and see if it's uh, fully in there. And there you go. I did notice one thing, though, that I don't like. The center of these bricks have to be in the middle. If you look over here, they're kind of close. So I want to see if I could just shift over everything just a little bit. Because I don't like that being so close. Kind of makes it a little bit unstable. Though, weirdly enough, it's fine everywhere else. It's just that little section here. So I'm gonna flip flop these bricks and see if that does anything. It may not though. You can flip flop maybe this one and that one. Oh, you're still here? Yeah. It's uh, six o'clock again the next day. And this simple and cheap 
an easy project. It's a lie. It's all a lie. You got dirt. You can't have friends out here and go back in the house with dirt. The wife says. You need rocks. It's not permanent. We need rocks. So, went to Lowe's and for $6 a bag, you get these white rocks. But, they're not really good when you're having a small car and you have to transport them. So, I was only able to put 20 bags in my car until my rims started hitting my car. So, I'm hoping that 20 bags will be enough. My calculations say, should be like 40 bags. I'm not doing two trips of this. So let's spread this out. There's only 10. Another 10 in a car. Let's spread it out and see where we're at. I don't realize how expensive stone is. And if I had the time, we could have like, gone to the quarry and hired a crew to drop like a ton here. But remember, temporary. Sure. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, I also installed lights so I can see when I'm working at night. But this is where we're at. Like I said before, we needed a lot more bags, but kind of is what it is. You can see the rocks only filled the intersection. I would need one more, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So I estimated 48. 40-ish, so uh, 22 more to fill on this entire outside. I'm not spending another dollar on this. I think we're going to call it quits. I want a bag that I could fill the holes in with and get a hose just to water it down, and then uh, this is going to be the fire pit, and we'll have people over tomorrow. Which, other bummer, I ordered eight of these. Only four came in. The other four went missing. So now I have to wait for UPS to find them to send them my way. It is time to finally show you the finished product. Ta-da! Yeah, I know. It's been several days since the other video because I don't have time for this. <laughs> but let me show you around. There really is nothing to it. And yeah, we've used it already. Let's see. It's been really well. It's settled down. You can walk on this thing. It's not going to fall. It doesn't even move. I bought a cap for it. So that's going to come in today on Amazon for like 80 bucks. And we have these four chairs, and we got another four that are coming in. Plus, we have our lights that are up, not on right now. And um, now, this is just our view for the time being. If you're following our projects, you know that's going to be a sauna. Well, that's going to be a pool going that way. Ambitious, right? This is essentially going to just be stone. This is going to be concrete. That tree's going to come down. So we'll be standing in our pool. And yeah, we're going to burn that one and that one and that one. And there's another one hidden over here. And I think there's another one right there. There's another one there. That's all going to get burnt. We're going to burn this one down once I'm done using it to help me cut wood. Because that's what I've been using it for. It's going to be like a kid play area with some kind of grass. Uh, the retention wall is going to get rebuilt in the springtime. Because it is rotted through and it's collapsing. Kind of hard to see from here, but this is all rotted. I'm going to build it up this way to about this height and go that way with it so we can walk around and not hit our head on that. Because that used to be the original step, and there used to be one there and there, and those are completely gone. But moving this way, I'm going to remove this tree and that tree, that tree and that tree, that tree. We're going to clear this out, and this will be a garden. Hopefully, we'll have enough sunlight too. There you guys go. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe, turn on notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. 
I'm Joey. Stay safe. See you later. And be sure to follow my playlist for these home renovations because we got a lot that is going on. Uh, this is going to be a springtime project. I'm going to be doing a couple things in the basement and the garage. And oh, it's a never-ending project. So be sure to follow. See you later. Bye.